Okay, guys. If you're wondering where I'm at, I'm at Super Value here in Anniston, Alabama. This is the Super Value DC. Current time right now is 8.40 in the evening. We've been given a door. I don't know the door number yet. I won't know until I get down there. They're making phone calls right now to trucks. This is where you rest at. You can do your breaks here. And I have enough hours that when I get done out of here, I'm going to bail and head for my next pickup. I ain't got to be there till 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So we're going to get there tonight. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab that chicken load. We're going to take it up to Chicago. Red Brothers. National Heart of uh, Heart of uh, Heartland. I don't like it that Heartland um, owns uh, Smith Transport. Okay, I'm such a hurry. Gotta be safe, gotta move uh, slow through here because of goofballs like that who try to run you over. I right, tell him, nope, sorry, there ain't nothing in the trail, I drank all of it. Oh man, there ain't no way I could. <laughs> ain't no way. Now, this is a refrigerated load of milk. Oh God, please. I love my milk. Oh God, do I ever. I love me some milk. I haven't had milk in a while. I haven't had any. Choose any CV talk. Nope. Probably the drivers ain't talking on the radio. This is crazy. Load delivered. Because we're here. Here comes the big fish. Okay. Come on. Must be busy up at the guard shack, huh? Hey, 
take a look at the radio sign. I am shocked. Something going on out on the interstate. Alright, I'm not going to bore you guys, we'll put you guys on pause, and when we get up to the guard shack, I'm going to uh, hit record again, and let you guys see what's going on. Hang on. Okay, driver. <laughs> You guys get here early you're under a reefer load make sure that you uh fill up that reefer because you're going to be sitting here at super value for a while as you guys can see i've been sitting here yeah, at like 3 30 eastern standard time and it's only 9 47. That's a base station here in Aniston. This too, you're gonna to have to move on up before I can get this right. Hang on, y'all. Got a headlamp? Okay, I'm back. Now, when you come here, okay, stop at the blinking light. <laughs> Do not block this intersection for the employees. Don't block it. Don't even think about it. Be professional. If things don't go your way while you're here, deal with it. Okay? We can't you keep going? No, because my trailer will be blocking this. And then they'll be sitting out on the road. They'll be mad as hell. Plus, there's a sign clearly, clearly says, you guys saw it when I came up. Do not block intersection, and they mean it. So be cool here, be professional, be a, uh, how you want to be it, how you want to say it? Keep it cool here. I've unloaded during the day. I've never unloaded at night here. So it's a whole nother animal. Okay? A whole nother animal.
is the second shift coming in. Day shifts are gone. Unless this is third overnight shift. They unload 24 hours a day here, but the thing about it is that, uh, I want to put it. You still got to come in at your appointment times. This isn't just show up whenever you want to. It doesn't work like that. No. But maintain your cool, maintain your professionalism when you're dealing with this place. And yes, this is a grocery warehouse. No, we're not allowed inside on the floor. Sometime, Lord knows, I wish I was allowed. Believe me, I do. He has, um, the guy in front of me, he has a temp load. Speed limit on the yard is five miles an hour. They mean it. Don't get caught breaking those speed laws. Stop the stop sign. Be professional about it. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I thought she was coming to talk to me or something. No, she's walking on. All right, I'm gonna go deal with the guard. You guys sit tight. I'll be right back. And I'll see you guys in a minute, okay? Hang on. Okay, we've been given door 46 is our door number. I was messing with the guard, Gary. And I told him, I said, don't worry. The trailer's empty. I drank everything in the trailer. He started busting out laughing. He goes, well, we ain't got to worry about much of an unload, do we? It was funny. All right. Most of these chokers, you're going to see them come whipping around that corner right there. It's like, really? Door 46, walk your paperwork down to door uh, 15. And sit and wait. Basically. I find out this is a one way deal. Go by the fuel islands and then corner around into your door. Alrighty then.
Oh yeah, this is where you're gonna contend with the shop right there. Turn wide here. You don't want to touch that car sitting there. That shot manager. So this is a draw load, I ain't got to worry about running out of fuel or nothing like that. Nah, nah. Okay, I'm going to be down here on the far end. I'm looking at door numbers. Usually this place is extremely uh, busy. Not tonight. This place is better than a thin doornail. Tell you what. We're going to swing around and do a U-turn and back into my door. Door right there, I see it. ships there it is all right these kind of doors you got to set up correctly That's 45. I chose one to lean toward door 45. New. Next one over, thank you. Okay, 
the Terry Strike. You're not ready to jack around yet. Watch the trailer. You're not going to hit your door right the first time. That's not going to happen. Okay? So if you don't hit your door right the first time, don't get mad about it. You deal with the situation. Just handle it. No big deal. It's kind of my fault. I didn't cut it hard enough. I didn't cut it hard enough. I didn't get under it quicker. Or quick enough. Rather be a little off than as far off as I was. Maintain professionalism. Sometimes you're going to think, man, this door is hard as hell. That's when it takes practice in order to hit it. Okay? It takes practice, people. And I'm at the door. Or here. Let's go open the doors. Let's see what we can see. And then we're gonna walk paperwork out. Yes, we're under padlock. Like I said, maintain professionalism. How you act is everything. That is key. If something's falling over in your trailer, get up in there and clean it up. And I mean it. We're good. Oh, damn. That worked. Still standing. Yes. Sit y'all down for a minute. 
Guess what? She looking good. She's still standing just the way that we picked her up. That's the way you want it. You want the load to stay exactly the way that you pick it up. No spills, no breaks, nothing. You don't want to get up here and there's liquid all on the floor everywhere and drain out of the back of your trailer or out of the front. You don't want that crap. Okay? Do not, and I mean, I mean this, do not lose your containment. That's what this is. This is a food load, yes. But you don't want to lose your containment. In other words, you don't want the uh, pallets falling. You don't want liquid breaking out of the containers, draining on the floor, nothing. You want this standing at all times. That's how tough these little babies are. I'm yanking on this as hard as I can. Keep it standing, people. Keep it standing. All right. That'll work. Something don't go your way on the backing. You don't like it. Guess, guess what? You get reset up and you deal with it. My phone is trying to fall out of my hand. I'm not letting it. No. Take the law locks down for for the uh, forklift operators. Whoops. There you go. Like I said, you don't want nothing falling, no leaking, no losing containment. You don't want none of that. You want to maintain your professionalism at all times. End of discussion. Kind of see the way they load it right there. Okay, so we're going back out of here. Turn the flashlight off. Okay. Look out. <sighs> oh. Alright. There. Leave more of the air. Not one to go in there, is it? Oh, there. Got it. Maintain professionalism. Maintain who you are as a driver. And there you go. Maintain your, uh, your load presence. Are your company presence. You are the ambassador to your company when it comes to these companies. You are the ambassador. Okay? If you don't give this place a good feel for you, if you don't give this place a good uh, a good thought about your company, guess what? They're not going to want to do business with you. And they're not. Perception is everything. And it is. Perception is absolutely everything when it comes to low deliveries and low pickups. Stay professional, people. Stay professional and you will become a commodity in this industry. What does that mean? Well, it's like what um, my buddy, 
uh, Paul McClellan told me. I asked him, I was like, what does that mean? Become a commodity. People are going to want to do business with you because of how you act. And that's the way you want it. You want people to be interested in doing business with you. End of story. Silent knock at the doors. That was not a silent knock. Oh man, I can't, I didn't know how far back I was. Jesus. Well, they know I'm here. Anyway, guys, y'all be good. I will see y'all later. Back here on the channel. We are in the door. We are delivering a load. And I'll see you guys later on. I'm going to walk my paperwork down. He sat in the truck. And um, go from there. The blinker is screaming that that bong sound is because my uh, my lights are on. It's always because of. All right, there's my seal. I got it. I'm good. Anyway, y'all be good. And I'll see y'all later.